Hi everyone. Today I am going to discuss counting figures, which is the most interesting and very important topic for all kinds of competitive examinations. Without getting any delay, let's jump into the session. In today's video, I'll discuss how to find out the number of triangles in a given figure. Let's solve the first question. Here one triangle is given, then we need to find out how many triangles are there. So it's very easy to find out as this is a very simple question. So this is the first triangle and this is the second triangle and the bigger one is the third triangle. So as it is a simple question, we can do it. But whenever we, if you get a complex question, it will be very difficult to solve. So that's why I'll give you a trick that is write the numbers on the base and just add those numbers. So here two plus one, that is three which means the number of triangles in the given figure is three. Okay, let's solve the next question. So this will be a little complicated to solve, but I already told you the logic here that is write the numbers on the base. So this is one, two, three and four. Simply add all these numbers instead of calculating all, all triangles. So just write the numbers like this 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1. So here if you add all these, you will get 10. So see how easy it is. Let's solve the next question. If you get this question in the examination, if you don't know the logic, you will definitely leave the question because as this is, looks very complicated and we have so many triangles are there. So that's why remember the logic here that is write the numbers on the base. Okay, so as we have 10 numbers here, so write 10 numbers like this and add, you will get the number as 55, which means we have 55 number of triangles are there in this figure. And if you feel this is also complicated, I'll give you a very easy tip to find out. And when you observe these numbers, 10, 9, 8, 7, all these are natural numbers. Okay, and we are adding all natural numbers up to 10. So which means sum of a natural numbers formula. So what is the sum of a natural numbers formula? That is n into n plus 1 by 2. So simply n equals to 10, 10 plus 1 by 2. So 2 ones are 2, 5 are, which means 5 into 11, that will be 55. See, very easy, right? This is again a similar kind of a question. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6 means we have 21 triangles and here also we have 21 triangles and here also we have 21 triangles and if you add all these you will get 63. And you can also use some of a natural numbers formula that is 6 into 6 plus 1 by 2. So 2 ones are 2 threes are, which means 3 into 7, 21. So one base have 21 triangles and here we have three bases which means 63 triangles. Okay, now hope you understand this. Let's solve the next question. Uh, here we have uh, something difficult like horizontal line is split into few parts again. So again, the same logic you can apply here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, which means here we have 6 into 6 plus 1 by 2, which is 21 triangles are there. And here let's take it 1 and 2. So if you take this part, total how many triangles are there the here? 2 plus 1, 3. And if you take this part, how many triangles are there here? Which is 3 plus 2 plus 1, that is 6. So you need to add this 3 with 6 with this 21. So finally, what's the answer? 21 plus 6 plus 3, that is 30. So total number of triangles are 30. Hope you get this. Okay, now as of now, we just did about the vertical lines and if you have horizontal lines, it's very, very easy. If it is a vertical lines, we are adding all the numbers, but here no need to add anything. So this is the first triangle. This is the second triangle. This is the third triangle and this will be the fourth. So how many horizontal lines are there? That many triangles are there. So answer for the question is four here. Now this, uh, the third kind of a question that is, in a square, some triangles are given, then how do we find out? So just find out how many triangles are there in this. How do we find out? I'll give you a very easy tip to find out. So just write the numbers like this. So this is the first triangle. This is two, this is three, and this is four. 
So total how many small triangles are there? Four small triangles are there. Next. So if you consider this part, okay, above we have one triangle, below we have one triangle, which means two. And if you consider this part, for this line, left side one triangle and the right side one triangle, so we have two. So total how many? Eight. So as this is a very simple question, we'll do like this, but when we have more partitions, it will be very complicated to find out. So that's why I'll give you a very easy tip. Now let's concentrate here. Okay. Now the tip is just count the partitions. So here we have four partitions and simply multiply with two. So here you will get eight. So answer for the question is eight. See how simple it is. Let's solve the next question. So keep the things in the mind. What I said previously, just count the partitions. So in a previous question, we have four partitions. Now we have eight partitions. Simply multiply by two, we'll get 16. So answer for the question is 16. Okay, now let's solve the next question. See, this is the looking complicated, but it's not at all complicated. Again, do the same process. Count the partitions. So inner we have eight tri triangles, eight into two total, 16 triangles are there. This will be inner. Now when it comes to outer, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So outer also we have same number of triangles that will be 16. So this is outer. Add these two, you'll get the answer, which means total we have 32 triangles are there in this. Okay. Now, now this is one of a new kind. Triangle is inserted in a triangle. Then how do we find out? Just have a look here how many triangles are there. So bigger one is one triangle. Okay, the bigger one is one triangle. And this is one more triangle, two, this is three, this is four, and this is five. So total how many triangles are there? Five triangles are there, including with the bigger one, okay? Now, how do we uh, easily remember this point, okay? So bigger one is, keep it aside. So if you remove the bigger one, total how many triangles are there? Four triangles are there, which means one triangle make four triangles inside, okay? So remember this point, one triangle make four triangles. Okay, so in a further question, simply add number of triangles and multiply with four, then you will get the answer for the questions. Okay, so here listen carefully, one inner triangle makes four triangles completely. And if you add outer triangle, then you will get the answer for the question. Okay, so here for this question is five. How do we get this five? One inner triangle makes four triangles plus one bigger triangle. There you will get the answer as five. Okay. Now let's solve this question. I already told you how one triangle makes how many triangles, which is four triangles. Now, similarly, two triangles makes how many? Two triangles make eight total number of triangles and eight plus one bigger one. So the answer for the question is nine. Simple. Let's take it like this. So this is the first triangle and this is the second triangle. So total two triangles are there. Two triangles makes two into four, eight triangles and place the bigger one, which is nine. So total number of triangles in the figure is nine. See how simple it is. Let's go with the next question. So simply don't be confused. Simply add the number of triangles. Okay. So this is one triangle. This is two and this is three. So total three triangles are there. Three makes how many triangles? Three into four, 12 triangles. And the bigger triangle is one, which means 13 triangles are there. Okay, so how many triangles are there in this? Total 13 triangles are there. If you're confused, you can just listen the class again. Now here we have how many triangles? So if you get this question in the examination, you will definitely leave this question because you don't know the logic. And if you manually count the triangles, it will be a time waste. Okay. Now I already told you count the number of triangles. So that is this one triangle and this is two triangles. 
so total how many triangles it can make 2 into 4 8 triangles it can make and the bigger one is 1 so as of now total 9 triangles it can make but let's see this so if you observe this triangle this triangle is again divided into two parts so just count the lines here so this is one line this is two lines and this is three lines so three lines makes how many triangles one line makes two extra triangles this line makes two extra triangles and this line makes two extra triangles so which means three lines are there three lines makes how many six triangles extra so nine plus six total 15 triangles are there in this figure so hope i am clear thanks for watching my channel and in a part two i'll also discuss how do we find out the squares in the square okay so have a nice day bye